Hello students, in our last episode, we worked out many problems involving summation of AP. Today, we will discuss some typical problems which are not direct to solve it. Let us take one problem. The sum of n terms of two arithmetic progressions are in the ratio of 3n plus 2 is to 7n plus 15. Find the ratio of 12th terms. Here again, neither A is known nor D is known. Moreover, there are two series involved. It means we have four unknowns. Suppose the first term of the first series is A and common difference is D. And for the same, for the second series, it is A dash and D dash. Then what is given to us? We are given that S n upon S dash n is equal to 3 n plus 8 upon 7 n plus 15. That means 2 a plus n minus 1 d upon 2 a dash plus n minus 1 d dash is 3n plus 8 upon 7n plus 15, which implies a plus n minus 1 by 2d upon a dash plus n minus 1 upon 2d is equal to 3n plus 8 plus 7n plus 15. Again, we can write as a plus n plus 1 by 2 minus 1 d upon a dash plus n plus 1 by 2 minus 1 d dash is equal to 3 n plus 8 upon 7 n plus 15. Clearly, the left hand side is T n plus 1 by 2 upon T dash n plus 1 by 2. That is n plus 1 by 2 -th term of the first series upon n plus 1 to -th term of the second series. This is equal to 3 n plus 8 upon 7 n plus 15. Now we require the ratio t 12 upon t dash 12. We have the formula for t n plus 1 by 2 upon t dash n plus 1 by 2 equal to 3 n plus 8 upon 7 n plus 15. To get this result, we have to set n plus 1 by 2 is 12, which means we must make n is 23. When we put n equal to 23, we get t 12 upon t dash 12 is equal to 3 n plus 8 upon 7n plus 15, but n here is 23, so you get this plus 8 upon 7 times 23 plus 15, which equals 69 plus 8 upon 161 plus 15, that is 77 upon 176 which is equal to 7 upon 16. Now, this is the required answer. So, for the given series, the ratio of 12th term of two series will be 7 is to 16.
in our previous problem, you might have noticed that we didn't find A and D at all. Similarly, our next problem also involves similar thing. Here again, we have an AP whose PA term is given to be 1 upon Q and Q term is given to be 1 upon P. We have to prove that the sum of the first PQ terms is half PQ plus 1. Now, we again assume A to be the first term and D as common difference. So, as per the question, we have the following results. T P is equal to A plus P minus 1 times D, first equation. Then T Q is equal to A plus Q minus 1 D, second equation. But T P is given to be 1 upon Q and T Q is given to be 1 upon P. Thus, we have A plus P minus 1 D is 1 upon Q, A plus Q minus 1 D is 1 upon P. This gives by subtraction P minus Q D is equal to 1 upon Q minus 1 upon P. This gives P minus Q is equal to P minus Q upon PQ times D. Now, since P and Q are not equal, we can cancel P and Q to get D is equal to PQ. Now, we have found D in terms of P and Q. From the first equation, we have A plus P minus 1 D is equal to 1 upon Q. But now we know value of D, so we get A plus P minus 1 upon PQ is 1 upon Q, which gives A is equal to 1 upon Q minus P minus 1 upon PQ. This gives just 1 upon PQ. So, we have P minus Q is equal to P minus Q upon PQ times D. But since P is not Q, we can safely cancel P minus Q and hence we get D is equal to 1 upon PQ. Now, to find A, we go to the first equation namely A plus P minus 1 D is equal to 1 upon Q. This gives A plus P minus 1 upon PQ is 1 upon Q. This gives A is equal to 1 upon Q minus P minus 1 upon PQ. That is equal to 1 upon PQ. Thus, we find that both A and D are having the same value 1 upon PQ. Having known both A and D, we can find the sum of PQ terms. Now, we have SPQ is equal to PQ by 2 times 2A plus PQ minus 1 times D. Now, A is 1 upon PQ, so we get 2 upon PQ here plus PQ minus 1 upon PQ that equal to 1 by 2, 2 plus PQ minus 1 that is 1 by 2 PQ plus 1, hence proved. Now, you may note that in this problem, both A and D were given in a non-numerical form, even though we could do it. So, remember that in any problem, we must look for A and D. Now, this implies P minus Q times D equal to P minus Q upon PQ. But 
already we know that p is not q so we can safely cancel p minus q so we get d is equal to 1 upon p q this implies p minus q d is p minus q upon p q and this gives you d is equal to 1 upon p q now we have to find the value of a for this we take the equation a plus p minus 1 d is 1 upon q which means a plus p minus 1 upon p q is equal to 1 upon q which gives a is equal to 1 upon q minus p minus 1 upon p q thus a equal to 1 upon p q actually when we find the am of two numbers we are just inserting one element between a and b so that a that element and b makes an ap now this thing can be generalized instead of one element insertion we can make more insertions as in the following problem we have problem insert nine terms between 7 and 37 such that the resulting sequence is in AP. Now look here we had two terms 7 and 37. In between we are inserting nine items. So ultimately we are having 11 terms. Suppose the remaining terms are A1, A2 up to A9. So we have 7, A1, A2 and so on up to a 9 and then we have 37. So, in all we have 11 terms. Our purpose is to find the value of a 1 a 2 precisely. Now, here clearly first term is 7 that is a is 7. The 11th term is 37 that is l we do not know the value of d. So, we can find a plus 10 d is equal to 37. This gives d is equal to 37 minus 7 upon 10 that is 3. Now, we have value of a as 7, d as 3, so, what is a 1? a 1 is simply term 2 that is a plus d that is 7 plus 3 that is 10. Then a 2 is just a 1 plus 3 that is 13. In this manner we can write the terms a 1, a 2 up to a 9 as 10 13, 16 and so on up to 34. So, this problem can be generalized also. We have two terms A and B and we have to insert n terms so that the entire sequence becomes A P. Suppose they are A 1, a 2 up to a n. Now, as a result the sequence of n plus 2 terms a, a 1, a 2 and so on up to a n and then b makes n plus 2 terms and this must be an a p. Once again we have to find d. a 1 is a plus d, a 2 is a plus 2 d. In general, a r will be a plus r d, where r varies from 1, 2 up to n. Now, in this sequence, b is the n plus 2 term. So, b is equal to a plus n plus 2 minus 1 
times d that is a plus n plus 1 times d and hence d becomes b minus a upon n plus 1. Now, this is a good result to attack such problems. d is always last minus first upon number of insertions plus 1. With this, we have a 1 is equal to a plus b minus a upon n plus 1, a 2 is a plus b minus a upon n plus 1 times 2. In general, a r is a plus b minus a upon n plus 1 times r. Thus, we have found a general method to insert any number of terms between two numbers so that the entire sequence becomes an AP. Today, we have discussed some more typical problems in AP and also found a general method to insert any number of terms between A and B so that the resulting sequence becomes an AP. In our next episode, we shall be tackling a different type of series known as geometric series.